last year here on the weekend to beat Maverick McNeely by a single shot. Came from two behind on Sunday. Shot. And next on the team next from Sacramento, team. California, please welcome our 2019 champion, Cameron Champ. First hole right in the middle of the fairway. Shot. Very nice. to take a picture this is what you want your setup to look like he's trying to bleed it back into the wind it's just you know being more like a kid again now max homa really good look here just keep giving yourself chances get there, get there. Get there. Yeah. Yeah. he jumps into that two spot yeah, 222 yards. That's a two for Max Homa. Got to kind of fit it into this fairway, but the breeze is hurting a little bit. Going. Thanks. I think this is all right. Again, that that's the cut going against the dog leg right there. He probably thought that was going to be fine. But not an honorary member, but I know what no. you mean. Yeah, a special temporary member. I've written That's so many letters to the tour trying to become an honorary <laughs> member. <laughs> All right, Max Holm, we're trying to go for this par five and two at the ninth. And it's pretty it good touched shot. the green for a moment. It's now on. it's going to be on it's the green. It's going to roll off, I think, but it's, that's a good shot. All right, back at the ninth now, Max Homa for Eagle. Well, it might just help just to pop it up and get that top spin on it up that hill. Thumb shooting. <laughs> get that thumb involved. All right, Max. All right, yeah, another birdie for Max Homa. Makes the turn at three under. They're not just letting it go. Well, Max Homa's going to let it rip on 10, Gary. Yeah, just play that little squeeze fade down there. Should be ideal. I love these guys that can move it out. A pretty good pop. It doesn't even look like they're swinging at it. I think this is aesthetically and technically very sound indeed. Tempo so good, technique so good, and the results are pretty tasty as well. Yeah, it just doesn't look like the whole lot can go wrong for Max Holmer. Kind of keeping the club outside the hands, good transition from the top, just keeping it simple, just pivoting through. Yeah, as a result, he's in a lot of shots, pin high. So like Gary said, setting up on the right side of the tee box, did a little fade. Yeah, he wants as much room as he can there. And that's the sensible shot there, just a little right. Well controlled, another wonderfully controlled iron shot. That is impressive. The rest of the years, it's always around that 50% mark. Got it, got it. Another birdie. Yeah. And he has it. Five under, just one off of the lead. It's certainly one of the, the coolest greens on the course. Lots of little high points and low areas. So you want to take this to the middle and just try and work it. That's what college teammates do. Oh, pretty from Alabama. Are you kidding? You gotta love those putts when they, in the morning and the, do you see the trail of the ball because of the dew? And just guarantee that first bounce is forwards. And he's taking up top as well. Oh, is, oh no, that was the bounce he wanted. There we go. Oh, what a shot. I mean, is Max Homa dialed in or what? So Playing a video game. <laughs> Yeah, it stays perfect inside of five feet. Only two misses inside of 15 feet all week for Max Holm. That's how well Max Holm was rolling the rock. And you got to also throw in that 41-footer he made. 
No, you don't worry about it from the tee shot. Well, if you, I mean, if you move the tees up, as I was talking about. All right, homeless tee shot at 16. Let's right, see if he can fit it in that 20 yard wide landing zone. It looks like he has. Or so. So undoubtedly has the length to get this on. Oh, it's a good looking shot. Really good looking shot. Should bounce left. Oh, it gets a forward bounce too, up onto the green, leaving himself about 15 feet for eagle. His playing partners have iced him out. He has had a long time to consider this. Oh. Oh. With authority, Max Homa to 11 under. He's just on autopilot, it seems like, right now, Gary. Yeah, and a hole that absolutely suits his eye. Just that little gentle fade was absolutely ideal for this shot. It's in the spirit of looking at that lie. Oh, this is beautifully controlled as well. Look at this. You think this man's dialed in? We'd give it to him, but we're not allowed. Wait for it. That's a birdie. Yeah, just see if he can hit that little flat cut down that left side. Great ball. Really nice swing there. Good shot, Matt. Good ball. Needs a bounce. Got it. So just 80 yards from Max, so this gives him a chance to maybe take a little spin off. That's carrying deep. That's got to sit. Oh no, that's not the spot to be in. That nestled. But he is 11 for 11 scrambling. You know, it's one of those, if he's just 50%, all of a sudden he's six under par and it's not looking as amazing, as good as his golf swing is. Well, that should, should certainly stand him in good stead for next week as well, shouldn't it? Just in that first cup, 253. Swing. Another really solid golf shot. Typically right in the middle. What's wrong with you, Max? He shot 65 the last three times here. Now 67, going the wrong direction. Oh, he's losing it. <laughs> I say that in jest, of course. <laughs> of course, and Max Homa trying to defend. Right now, trailing by one. This for Eagle and sole possession. Oh, right there. Terry again and Kurt Byram and the crew with you here. Coverage in Napa can be an, e an awkward par five, but he basically played two great shots, drove it in the fairway. Certainly right of the hole, I think, uh, avoids the left side. Well, that's a jumper, too. Wow. That's deep. Oh, man, that's a trouble. We just, we're seeing this pretty routinely this back, week, yeah. guys in the rough hitting big flyers off that back foot, ball first, try to chip and run one. Final pairing today is Danny Willett and this man, Max Homa, trying to save par at the sixth. Stay at 12 under. Yeah. And second shot over the back of the green and able to get that up and down and save par. Pretty to watch, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a knockdown wedge. That looks like that might have got in a little deep, too. And not quite as much spin, but it's getting better as well. Both pretty good shots, but they both are going to have to deal with the slope in this green, and they're both putting downhill. This this sits up on a hill. This green does too, so exposed to a little bit of wind up here. Oh, I just snapped across the cup as it lost pace. Just you have to be so 
careful with the speed. It's hard to keep it on that correct line. Good try. I mean, you'd rather be 15, 18 feet below the hole. Trails is to see former. a putt go in of some length. Trails is former college teammate by two. Well, this is at the left of the hole to center of the green. Okay. Just what he needed. We'll have a really good look here for birdie. Needs something positive to happen on the greens. And right when he needed it, pours that right in. Just his second birdie of the day. That sign back on that tent. Well, this is a heater. Let's see where it pitches. Oh, that's really well done. Wow, landed it short of the green. So the thing that's, it's hard to tell by the camera angles, is the green is pushed up you know, off the level of the fairway there. So certainly take away, away a little bit of the frustration he's probably feeling. So it's an even pull around to 72 for Max Homa. Looking to go back to back, and we'll start one back. There is that penalty area right of the fairway down there that is uh, potentially gettable. They start this up to left, and it's moving a little right. I think this is wonderful here. That is ideal right there, right over the corner. Boy, that's just what he's done. He wants the wind to move it. It's kind of holding. Oh, man, was oh, that that's pretty. Boy, I pretty, pretty shot. Long iron that high. Landed it pretty softly on the green there. That was really well done. Mm. And just outside of that circle. That's a good stroke. Big tee shot. Second right over the top of the flag stick and two putts for Max Homa to 13 under. So I, I would look for kind of, you know, that low fairway yeah. finder cut. Uh, that's exactly what he's trying to do. Yeah, but it's left. The one thing about that, if he doesn't have any tree trouble, he caught a pretty good lie there. He will be left and have somewhat of an angle. The concern now is the moisture and the potential for a flyer. Playing a little cut in there, boy, this is pretty if the number's right. Whoa. And it is excellent shot. In fact, I'll have to check, but there's only been one other player closest to, closer to the hole today than that. Hey, yes, sir. Impressive group. Game on. <laughs> Nobody's going All away right now. <laughs> All three of them. That was impressive. Because before this, when it was really firm, you would have had to land 20, at least 20, maybe 30 feet short and bounce up. That's a little right of the hole. There's that's going to peel away from it. He's had two looks at the pace of this green coming up the slope. Oh, good looking putt. And the putter has woke up for Max Homa. Three straight. And the defending champion joining Willett at 15 under. Yeah, this will be that low three wood. Been overcooking that shot a little bit today. Let's see. Yeah, that looked like bunker. Two under three, two far back, guys. Contact sounded clean, but it's going left. Mmm, with the hop. That face open. That is textbook. Yeah. Textbook. Absolutely. Oh, almost oh. in. 
He thought he made it. Boy, that was beautiful. Kurt, that big backswing. Yeah. And, and dealing with the wet conditions, too. All of that work that he's put in the last two years on his short game, pitching, chipping, bunker play, putting. He hits a good one, he can get home in two. Oh, just a beauty. Up the left hand side, but cutting just slightly, it should be good. Yeah, remember, lift clean in place, so he'll be able to clean that ball, give himself a good lie, and he can knock it on a two. Been riding this club all week. This three wood has been great. Well, he has started it online with the flag. Maybe a little left of it, even. Mm. Hopped into the bunker. That's not going to be easy to get to the green. This tough bunker shot. I won't get there. Uh, there's a deep swale down there between him and the green, and that's where that is. Oma, move in. Oh my goodness. Can you believe that? <laughs> Danny Willett can't believe it. Oh my goodness. What would we just say about making big shots when you have to? Wow. And I am not sure that I believe what I just saw here. I don't. It is Max Homa who defends and wins the opener of the PGA Tour season here in Napa. This game never ceases to amaze me. I, I, I mean, incredible. Incredible. Oh, man. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.